सो हेलो पीपल दिस इज वेब सीरीज अगेन आई एम स्टार्टिंग फॉर द बेसिक्स ऑफ एच टी एम एल सो इफ यू आर अ पर्सन हु इज़ विलिंग टू अंडरस्टैंड समथिंग अबाउट द वेबसाइट डेवलपमेंट एंड देन यू माइट बी हैविंग एन आइडिया अबाउट द एच टी एम एल एंड सी एस एस लैंग्वेजेस सो एच टी एम एल एंड सी एस एस आर द बेसिक फ्रेमवर्कस दैट आर यूज टू बिल्ड द वेबसाइट्स सो इफ यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड हाउ दे वर्क टूगेदर आई मीन यू आर मच बेटर ऑफ वन इट कम्स टू डिज़ाइन मार्केटिंग एंड सेवरल अदर प्रोफेशंस You don't need to be an expert, but I mean, being able to understand how to utilize these languages, it can help you understand and optimize and user-friendly websites for your businesses. Okay, so I'll be starting from this module, and let's see the learning outcomes of this module. So in this module, I'll be telling you about the basic introduction about the HTML. We will see a simple HTML document. Uh, we will see the elements of HTML. the need of the web browsers and the page structure of the html page okay so let's start so what is html so html stands for hypertext text markup language okay so it is a standard markup language which is used for creating the web pages and it totally describes the structure of a web page how you want to create it it has a series of elements that are used to create the page and basically html tells your browser how to display the content okay the content you want to produce how you should display on the website that is the base html is the basic medium to explain this so if you see a simple html document this is a simple html document how it looks like so right now you won't be i i, I won't guess that you are knowing every single thing about this this document but don't worry about that if you don't know any tags about uh, tags about this document right now you will be getting to know as soon as you move forward in this series okay so there is a html tag then there is a head then there is a body then the closing tags so this is the basic format of a simple html document okay so if you talk over the explanation of this document then this doc type html what is it, what was written on the uh, first line it defines that this document is an html5 document okay then this html tag is a root element of a html tag you should know that the head the head is basically the element that contains the meta information about the html page that typically defines the title the style the font size and other information that is directly not visible on the pages but that should run on the background okay in the title title of the page is used to define the title the body is the main body that is the visible page whatever comes inside this body tag is only visible on website same like this h1 is uh, treated as a large heading and this p is defined as a paragraph okay so if i show you a basic page so this is a basic page looks like okay then there is a doc type html then there is html we have written then there is a body in the body i have written a paragraph okay so suppose if i want to write a heading so i'll use this tags and i'll write h1 and we'll write this is my heading okay and you close this h1 okay you save this and you run this then this is the way how it looks i mean you definitely won't understand how you have created this page how it is showing on the browser i'll i'll explain you step by step but just to uh, give you the basic idea this is how it totally works okay so just have this thing in mind and i'll as soon as you'll get to understand about this this complete series you have the you will have the clarity about all the things what so now we we'll talk about the html element so an html element is defined by a start tag some content and then some end tag like that so there's a tag name then we write the content here then we use a forward slash to for the tag name so this closes one line one statement okay so like i told you in the previous slide so this is the h1 tag okay heading one tag then again my content here then we use a forward slash to close this statement and this is how it comes okay this is my heading so when i explain this element this is the way every element is written okay if you want to write a paragraph you should write p in my first paragraph and this will come like that okay so there is an exception again Uh, with a element like br it's a break element and you don't need any closing element for that thing 
like just like headings and paragraph you always need a slash p you don't need a slash br that's just a simple break element okay so you don't need any closing element in the br tag there are some elements like that then about the web browsers so you can use any chrome google chrome google edge firefox and which which can be used to read the html documents and you can display them correctly uh, so basically the browser does not displays the html tag but it uses to determine how you want to display the document right? like this is a browser so the only thing it is displaying it is displaying is this content what is inside the body it does not show this doc type this body or html it shows only the content which is inside the body so this is the basic idea uh, i want to give you okay so at the last this is the html page structure you will be having an html tag in the starting and an ending then you'll be having a head and in head you will be uh, explaining about the title and every single thing then again you will close this thing you have a body and then only this portion of the body which is inside the body is visible so that you have to remember what whatever you put inside this body will be visible on the page and nothing else okay so i hope you have some clarity about this html basics and as soon as just stay with me and as soon as you will be ending this series you will be understanding everything <laughs>